and welcome back to another one of Zug's guides on Broadside Gaming. And just a quick thing guys, uh, if you've liked my guide so far, please, you know, like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really does help with the channel and as I said before, it motivates me to make more guides. So today we are going to have a look at the Handmaiden. Uh, this is something I've picked up in the last couple of weeks. I've mostly played the Shade because I enjoy it more. But I'm actually having quite a lot of fun on the Handmaiden. She's, um, she's quite amusing to play with. So this is my um, guide to the sword, uh, the spear and shield. So we're going to have a quick look at the talent setup first. So we're going to go with Spirit Echo, damaging multiple enemies in one swing with a melee weapon, grants temporary health, max five enemies. Again, pretty standard across all builds. Temp health, always good. Uh, for the second line, we're going with Asari Acceleracy, blocking attack. Or pushing Grant's Kurillion's next two strikes, 30% attack speed and 10% power. This is fucking amazing. And with all of your combos, you want to be throwing in uh, blocks and pushes. Just because the Spear and Shield is amazing uh, for doing that. You know, the Spear is really fast. Lots of light, quick attacks. And the block push can basically stagger all elite enemies and get them out of their combos. And with this, it's just giving you free speed and power. So you really want to be weaving that in. Smiter, as usual, does the same thing as it always does. Uh, Willow Stance. See, we're taking Willow Stance so that we don't have to take Swift Slaying on the weapon. I'll come back to that in a minute. So dodging grants 5% attack speed for 6 seconds, stacks up to 3 times. With uh, the Handmaiden, you don't want to play it like you'd play the Ironbreaker or the Foot Knight. You're not just face roll tanking stuff you are dodge tanking so this is very important you want to keep dodging to keep this up next we go with um, birch stance see there there is a toss up here you can go with heart of oak to get used to the build but i would always suggest birch stance because of if you're taking this into kata you want the block cost reduction you you want this by far over heart of oak which just gives you the flat 15 percent health and the last talent line, we're going for Power from Pain. Each enemy hit with dash grants a 5% crit chance for 15 seconds, stacks up to 5 times. Uh, your utility ability is, is on an insanely low cooldown, so you would just be dashing through to keep that damage rolling. So with all of this going, uh, she is a powerhouse, but it does look, take a lot of micromanaging. So she's, she's a little bit more difficult to get used to than, uh, say, the Waystalker or the Shade. And far more difficult to use than the Foot Knight or the Ironbreaker. So right, that's the talents. Uh, I'll, have, I'll go over quickly her uh, abilities as well. Uh, increases dodge distance by 15%. It's just nice, especially when you're going to be dodging all the time. Renewal. Aura that increases stem regeneration speed by 100%. This is amazing, especially on Cataclysm. Your team will thank you for having this. And Asari's uh, Benison. It's, it's alright. You revive people quicker and give them a bit of health. You know. Hopefully your team won't be dying that much, so you won't have to make too much use of this, but you know, it's always useful. Just to get you out of those clutch situations. Right, so the equipment we're using, obviously the spear and shield. We've got block cost reduction on it, as I always do, and power versus Skaven. And the trait we're using is opportunist, which increases your push push strength by 50% when used against attacking enemies. This all ties into how you want to play this with lots of pushing and dodging to keep your stacks high. Uh, we're using the Moonfire Bow, as it is pretty much the best bow in Corellian's arsenal at the moment, which is Power versus Infantry and Power versus Skaven with Barrage. Uh, this is pretty much universal for all three specs. You can just have one bow and use it for all of them. Uh, the necklace I'm using is Health and Block Cost Direction, and unlike the other two careers, we're using Bark Skin again. Because you are slightly tougher and you can take the hit if you accidentally get clipped. It's not going to be as big a detriment as it is on the Shade or the Waystalker. So we're going back to Bark Skin for this. Uh, the Charm, we're using Power vs. Infantry and Power vs. Skaven. Uh, for some reason I've got Decanter on this, but I would usually use Proxy or Concoction. So I need to change that. And I've got my Legend Trinket on as I'm grinding up stuff for my Dwarf at the moment. So... That will be Curse Resistance and Crit Chance of Shrapnel. But if you want the Kata version, it is Stamina Recovery and Crit Chance with Shrapnel. Right, so that is the talents and equipment. We'll have a quick look over the playstyle. 
So obviously you're gonna with this, you're gonna be really tempted just to lay into it with just the quick stabs. But what you really want to do is throw in some shield bashes, some pushes, and heavy attacks. The heavy attacks on her are really good. I can't quite show you the all the stacks proccing on this because it requires uh, pushes and the dummies don't like you pushing them. But as you can see, just dodging, you're up to three stacks and your attack speed is insane. So you just want to be laying in with heavy attacks, pushes, because her spear, um, it has the unique ability to be really, really fast, but also comes with the shield, obviously, which gives you more block cost reduction. So you can turtle up, get in the front, and just start laying into everything with the heavy attacks. Then the heavy attacks are going to be your bread and butter in this. I'm not saying you can't use the light attacks, obviously you should, but you need to get uh, more comfortable with throwing in heavy attacks because you'll cleave through so much of the horde of those. Light attacks get yourself into position, heavy attacks cleave through. Especially if you mix it in with a block, a push, and get that swing rolling. So yeah, so it's only a quick guide today, a quick guide today guys, uh, as the handmaiden isn't hugely complicated, she's just mostly, it's more about getting used to her. And I think she's a really cool career. Not quite as unique as the Shade, because I, I, I do favour the Shade out of all of her three careers, but she looks really cool. And also, I really like the little way you can make it look like a, uh, a Lothran Sea Guard with some of the outfits, which I just find amusing. But yeah, uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and you know, if you've got any comments or anything you'd like to know, please feel free to leave them down below. And I will see you all again next time for another build. See you later.